Today I'm going to show you a really cool way to serve and display a pineapple. And we're going to be testing out one of these pineapple spiral slicing tools. If you haven't seen them before, they're really cool. You get different sized cutters for different sized pineapples. The handle clips into the top. And this kit even comes with a tool for slicing the pineapple into wedges. To use it, you need to take your pineapple and slice off the top. Then pick the right sized slicing tool for the diameter of your pineapple. This one's too small and so's the middle one, so I'm going to use the largest one. To use it, you need to take a good grip of the handle, line it up with the centre of the pineapple and grip that firmly too with your other hand. Then start twisting the slicer and pushing straight down. And you can see it starts cutting its way down into the fruit. Pretty cool, huh? Keep going until you get to the bottom. And you'll notice a change in how it feels. Then carry on turning it slowly and pull the tool back out. And there we go, we've removed the fruit and hollowed out the pineapple. If we look inside, you can see it's left the hard core in place and there's a little bit of juice. The next step is to remove the handle. And if you like, you can turn it upside down and slide the fruit straight off. And use it however you like. If you want to use the wedge cutter, you leave the pineapple on the tool, take the wedger, and the idea is you push it straight down and it cuts it into wedges. For me, it started off okay, but then as I pushed, the bottom part exploded out. Maybe I weakened it as I took it off the tool earlier. Or it may be because the diameter of the pineapple is about the same size as the wedging tool, so there's not much clearance. It made a bit of a mess, but I did get some cubes. And they taste absolutely delicious. I drank the juice out of the fruit so I could take a look inside. It leaves the core really neatly attached, but it also seems to leave quite a bit of fruit on the side walls of the pineapple. I used a knife to get this out because I didn't want to waste it. I did use the largest cutting tool in the kit, but because this pineapple is nice and big, it would have been good to have a slightly bigger cutting tool. For this one, I'm using a smaller pineapple, and instead of cutting off the top, I'm cutting off the bottom. Then I found the right sized cutting tool and sliced into the fruit. And once I reached the end, I started to pull it back out. It looks really cool, and if you like, you can spread out the rings to make this really sweet spiral. Then I pulled out the contents, and you can see the core in the middle. The next thing I did was to cut through the skin of the pineapple at the top, making sure not to cut through the core, so you have something which looks like this. And now I'm going to use the pineapple rings. If I had wanted to cube it, I think this would have worked a lot better than before because the fruit diameter is smaller than the wedging tool this time. But I'm not going to be using it. Instead, what I'm doing is taking the skin and sliding it down back over the fruit, then removing the tool. If you like, you can serve it by putting it on a plate and putting the top back on. It'll impress your guests when they lift off the lid and help themselves to a ring of pineapple. If you prefer, you could lie it down on its side, open it all up, and fan out the rings. You can attach the bottom of the pineapple, which we cut off earlier, with a couple of cocktail sticks. And there's our pineapple display. It looks really good, and it makes a great centerpiece. I put it on this white background, so it really stands out. 
You could use it as part of a display and surround it with other fruit. And if you want to eat it, you can just pull some of the fruit off the core and it's ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video.